Hello everyone, welcome to CM Square. This is John Choi and in today's Mathematics SL lessons, I'm going to do one question for integration uh, kinematic. So in this part, there's one thing is very important to know is that integration of acceleration will give you a velocity and also integration of a velocity will give you a displacement or a distance. But for displacement, it's an integration of velocity from A to B, a boundary. But distance is integration of velocity with absolute dt from A to B. So displacement without absolute, distance with absolute values. So that's, that's a very key thing you should know in this topic. So uh, that's paper two questions calculator. A particle P move along a straight line so that its velocity after t seconds is given by this functions t is between 0 to 5. The initial displacement of p from a fixed point O is 4 meters. And the following graph shows the uh, velocity against time functions. Part A. Find the displacement of p from O after 5 seconds. So displacement, integration from 0 to 5, the velocity functions, and then dt without absolute values, without absolute. And it's a paper two questions, so we can use the calculator to do it. And this change of calculator is in radian because uh, it's a trick function. So now it's in radian. So option cal integrations. And then the boundary is from 0 to 5. And the answer is negative 3.72. So why the displacement is negative? Because the starting point is at point O here. If the end point is on the right hand side of O, let's say one meter away from O, okay, then that would be positive one M, one meters. And if negative, that means it's left hand side of the starting point. Now, uh, after five seconds, the displacement of point P will be left-hand side of the uh, point O, and the distance is 3.72 meters. Part B, find when P is a, find when P is first at rest. So first at rest means the um, particle P is not moving, right? It's uh, at rest. So that means velocity equals zero. From the graph here, velocity equals zero. There are two points: this point and this point. But first at rest. Let's find the uh, t value at this point. Use GDC and then plot the graph cos 3x minus 2 sine x minus 0.5 and then you graph it and then you see the graph here. The domain is 0 to 5 so the window from 0 to 5 so the, the y will be from negative 4 to 3. And see the same graph here. And now I can trace the root, shift, and then root. 0 0.1799, so 0 0.1803 thing. So this point will be 0 0.1799001445. But we run up to 3 sigfig for the answer. Part C, write down the number of times P changes direction. So when you see the keyword, something changed direction that means velocity equals zero again because velocity is positive means shift to the right hand side it's going to the right hand side at uh, that speed let's say the velocity is plus two meter per second that means it's going to the right hand side at the speed two meter per second while velocity is negative that means going to the left hand side at that speed Let's say the velocity is now negative 3 meter per second. Then it's going to left hand side at the speed 3 meter per second. Right? Uh, going right is velocity positive. Going left is velocity negative. So that means velocity equals 0 is the moment that changes direction. It's neither going right nor going left. So there are two times it changes direction because um, there are two roots, so two times. Part D, find the acceleration of P after three seconds. 
So integration of velocity will be accelerations. So let's find the acceleration functions. So differentiate cos 3t, but we can use the calculator. Option cal and differentiation for the function cos 3x minus 2 sine x minus 0.5. And then when uh, t equals 3, so comma 3. And the acceleration is 0 0.744. Three sec thing. And last part, part E. From the maximum speed of p. So what is the difference between speed and uh, velocity? So uh, just take this example. Velocity uh, with sign positive and negative with direction. Positive going to right hand side, negative going to left hand side. But for speed, uh, it's without sign. So it's just the speed at that moment. Speed can tell uh, whether it's going right or left hand side. So maximum speed, let's see this graph. There are maximum point and minimum point. For these two values, it's largely uh, positive and uh, the first more value, negative values, right? Let's find these two values first. So trace the maximum point. And this one, we look at the y values, 2.278. So 2.28. And this one is minimum point. This one will be negative 3.28. So one is positive, one is negative. So going to the right hand side at the speed 2.28 and going to the left hand side at the speed 3.28. So the maximum speed will be just 3.28 at this point because 3.28 is larger than 2.28 going to left hand side at this speed. That's the maximum speed of P.